am so disappointed and aggravated. Looky here. See that? And that. Let me back up a little bit so you can see better. And there. Right there. And right there. Those all used to be beets. Yep, some wascally wabbit evidently found its way in here. I thought I had it solved. I hadn't seen any sign of any rabbits chewing on anything for over a week. Because I, I, I put this fence up. This, um, right here, this uh, chicken wire. And then I put a hot wire around the top for the deer. And I haven't seen any deer tracks in since I put that up. But evidently that rabbit figured out how to get in here. Yep, it got my uh, beets all the way down this line. And then on top of that, I didn't know rabbits liked fennel. But it ate the top out of every one of my fennels down through here didn't get my beans which I'm surprised because it got my beans over here I didn't have a whole lot of them planted you know I just um trying a, a, a new variety and uh see right there that used to be a bean um there was a bean right here bean right there ate the, ate the side off of that one I think I had another one in here somewhere and it's it's completely gone yep that and oh yeah it ate ate on this one here too ate all my beets all my beets I'm gonna have to plant some more anyway so I came down here and uh, set out traps I uh, Evidently, I walked I walked the fence and couldn't see where it was getting in. I put one trap right there. I baited it with uh, corn and sunflower seeds. Hopefully, that'll get it. I put one out here in the middle. Probably already saw that when I was showing you the beans. I put one right here. That's a rat trap. And again, I baited it with corn and sunflower seeds. And then... The other thing, and it's not a deer because this ground is really soft. So if it, a deer had been in here, I would have seen deer tracks. These are, this is oats. It ate the tops off of my oats all up through there. Doesn't appear that bothered sunflowers. Now you know, I, usually rabbits like sunflowers, but it didn't bother them. But my buckwheat, oh my gosh, now this really, really does annoy me because I was worried about it because it didn't seem to be coming up. And then, like I said, I haven't seen any sign of rabbit in over a week, so it's had a week for things to germinate and get up. Well, as you can see, I've got a few right there. But all kinds of up through here where there used to be buckwheat, their stems, just all up through there. Anyway, yeah, there's the other trap right there. And it's um, baited likewise. And before anybody, oh, where'd that come from? Oh, man, I wonder if that rabbit ate that off, too. That's pretty. That's a beard tongue. I'll have to figure out where it's coming from so I can get some. Anyway, before anybody comments, oh, you know, do this, do that, do whatever, this works, that works. Okay, I've tried, I've tried dog hair, I've tried human hair, and I mean, my dog is, uh, has copious amounts of hair. I've tried, um, spraying, you know, like, um, putting these fen this fence up, I've tried, just about everything I can think of. I've tried, um, I even, now last year I tried um, mothballs in a cup, you know, just because I didn't want it to contaminate my ground. 
and that didn't even work. That's why I went ahead and got that fence this year. Anyway, um, I did go around and anything I think it might like to gnaw on, I sprayed with some neem oil. That way maybe it won't taste good. Maybe it won't eat the plants and it'll go after the grain. But anyway, where's Elmer Fudd when you need him? Ah, oh, rabbits. If it ain't rabbits, it's deer. If it ain't rabbits and deer, it's a drought. So we'll just um, keep plugging along and I'll keep complaining whenever they come in and gnaw on my stuff. I'll talk to y'all later. Nah, I don't want to end that way. Isn't this beautiful? This is my um, garden sage. Full bloom. And I transplanted my garden thyme kind of late, and but it's still, it's starting to bloom too. So, now I'll let you go. There is awful pretty things. I don't think the rabbits will eat my sage. <laughs> and looks like I'm going to have a bumper crop of blueberries. First time. I'm so thrilled. Uh, now I'll talk to you later. Have a good day.